Uh, welcome to this Liverpool Fan TV. This is post match reaction for our game against Wolves. Massive, massive three points. It was tough, and in the second half, it was more of a fight than a game. Really, we have to dig really deep, deep. Um, and it, but we finally got the clean seat. I, I uh, for the goal which was chopped off from Wolves, I can understand they they will be disgruntled and devastated and. I can tell you that as a Liverpool fan, we have gone through that. Firmino offside against Aston Villa, Mane offside against Watford. And there are few occasions which we felt that we are hardened by, I think, foul on uh, Origi uh, against Manchester United. So there have been occasions where uh, uh, VAR did not play well uh, and you, you feel disgruntled. And that's the part of a game now and I totally get that but now nowadays if it's offside it's offside maybe nanometer or maybe lower than that it's if it is offside it's offside for the first goal superb goal from Mane wonderful ball from uh, Van Dijk and it was clearly not a uh, handball from Adam Lalana. like and from Van Dijk point of view I don't think it was handball as well I have seen a lot of replay on telly but I could not say conclusively you can call me biased it's fair maybe but I have seen and I cannot say conclusively that uh, it's a handball game in the first half we had a very good good chances we couldn't put in Mo has a very good chance I think Jenny had also a good chance one more chance fell to uh, I think Trent ball fell to Mane or someone uh, but we did not took but Mane took that goal beautifully it was tough to keep that ball down but he did that and not only because of goal he's really uh, helping out Robo and in and Ta uh, was superb in the second half once uh, Bulls made a couple of changes and brought in their ace uh, Adam Terore Mane was always there to help and and double up with fullback in both the side so that is a man of the match contender for for me to be honest especially the defensive side of game of Mane but I have to give it to Joe Gomez he was superb and this is the th third game running he has been very very good for us he was very good he was very good against Watford he was exceptional against Leicester and today also with the different challenges now we are seeing the Joe Gomez of last season really and he's really stepped it up and we really needed him and couple of clean seats especially against two very very strong side very very strong and aggressive side so Joe Gomez my man of the match and notable mention as well Adam Lalana out of all the three midfielders who we started Adam Lalana Hendo was superb Genie was excellent and all the three were superb and they deserved sort out and so if someone wants to give them another match I'm, I'm totally in for that because they were also excellent Van Dyke being Van Dyke colossal only one mistake and I felt at the moment that this could end up in a problem because the moment he took the ball in his stride there was no pass on so he has to return back and uh, but fine thankfully Allison bailed him out and whenever Allison was called upon, he did the job. He was not called upon much, to be honest, in last two games. But whatever is thrown at him, he just takes care of that. And back-to-back uh, -back clean city will really help us and as a team, for a team. Because you know that there will be a games where you will not be uh, doing what we do in a... Our, from our front three but we will need our back line to be strong and they are really strong and today they were tested and you could see that our players were feeling tiredness of roaming around the world and winning trophies and then going to Leicester that was also challenging game even though scoreline will not say that but we played a very very high class game and which would have worn out a few of our players and still club did not make changes because he wanted to go strong against Wolves because Wolves uh, we have seen what they did to Man City so club went strong and rightly so and probably he will make few changes against Sheffield who are also a strong team anyways this is the last video of this year and uh, I will not be doing any preview uh, in this year maybe on the first yeah we play on second so i will do on the first 
so happy new year and for 2019 thank you uh, for from not winning anything we have been three trophies in this year so very very grateful for that and thank you for all your support and views thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye